besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, very quickly out of the way, I have sunglasses on today because I just had a very invasive eye surgery and I'm very swollen and in recovery, but I still want to come on here and film YouTube videos for you, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna get extremely angry, but you know, I feel like we could have predicted that. You know, give us something new, Adam. Give us a different level of anger for this one. We're gonna be talking about Tana Mojo, Miss Tana Mongu. So, as we're all aware, I made a video a couple days ago, and the video kind of flopped because people are so bored of hearing about Nikita Dragon, and I'm with you on that. In that video, I said that Nikita Dragon is probably the most, probably the most boring influencer that is out there. So I'm going to be linking that video below and I would really appreciate if you could go watch it because I made some valid points and it got really deep towards the end. I would really appreciate if you could go watch it. However, I agree. Nikita Dragon is the single-handed, like, most boring person on this platform. All that controversy, boring. How are you that boring when you have almost that much going for you, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to these parties, you're, like, you're doing what... Every other influencer, well, basically, in, like, normal ones, aren't doing. So surely there's, like, news headlines that can be made about you, but yet you're still boring. So, the video was centered around Nikita Dragon, continuous parties, but she threw a birthday party for herself. A dragon-style birthday party. So, I had, like, 20 minutes of ranting in that video and went through videos and pictures just in the party, and I was very angry in that video. And in this one, I just want to talk about... Tana Mojo going to the party, not even just that. Tana Mojo has been going to parties, going to fucking events for months now. Up to a year from when this pandemic started. But what she keeps doing is posting videos at them, promoting them, and this time literally spitting in people's mouths and like putting it on her story and like licking people's faces. And you're probably like, nah. Yeah, and I'm going to be showing you the proof. And I'm sorry if you don't want to see it, but I kind of need to show you it. So, Tana went to Nikita's party, which, great, great idea, Tana. Here's the thing as well. We talked about on this channel that Tana was actually quite unproblematic for maybe two months. She wasn't in anything. She was doing story times. And that was the biggest height of her drama for quite some time. It was that she was doing story times and people were, like, exposing it. So, Tana, if you see this or anyone on your team... People were rooting for you. On this channel, we were basically saying that, you know what? She's finally listening. She's listening to her audience. Her OnlyFans is thriving. And she's doing story times, which is what her audience subscribed for. And they're doing extremely well. And she wasn't going out to parties, or at least posting about it. So we weren't, like, aware of it. She was just, like, at her house or whatever. And so the fact that she has to, like, do way worse than what she's ever done. Like... This is on par with a video that she posted. If you're aware, I've been watching my channel for a while, or any other drama channel's video, you're aware that in summer, Tana went to a party with all these influencers, and she was there with this other influencer, I think it was like Erica Costell or something like that, and she was getting so much backlash for partying as it was, and people were calling her out, and she did a video, and she basically was like, we don't fucking care. That was it while posting a video of them partying, and like the music, and the club, that was what she did. We don't fucking care. That kind of sounds like my Kamala Harris voice. We did it, Joe, we did it. You're gonna be the next president of the United States. I haven't done that in a while. But yeah, she posted that video, and she was like, we don't fucking care, and people were like, we're aware. We are aware, Tana, that you don't care about the regular person. You don't care about the safety or health of anyone, including yourself. But you know what, Tana? At this stage, you're not just putting yourself at risk. If you wanted to put yourself at risk and we knew that it was just putting you at risk, girl, we would tell you, have fun. Post all your videos. Go to these parties. But now, you are the contributing factor to why LA is in a hot spot. And not just going to the parties, posting them, and also just doing things that... In my opinion, I just want to take it down a bit. A bit? A minute. Adam, calm down. Oh, I'm so angry. Like, what she posted, she posted this video with Patrick Starr. And they're like licking each other or like kissing or whatever the fuck they're doing. Honestly, I don't know about you, but I have anxiety about going back into clubs. About going to parties. Like, being in big social situations is something that is stressing me out to think about. On top of that, I look back on my days, I'm only 18, but I mean, been going for a while. 
you know, out to like bars and like clubs and I'm like, okay, the height of what I was doing was like sharing glasses with people, you know what I mean? Not glasses, but like I would take a set, someone would take a set, or if we were doing shots or something, you know, using shot glasses or what? I don't smoke, so like my friends would pass around cigarettes, I don't smoke, so, but I mean, you know, the, the same sort of thing. And like, so again, my height was like sharing glasses. I'm telling you now, whenever I go back into a fucking club or a bar, I am not sharing that with anyone. Like, I, my glass is my glass. It better be washed and I am not, with the germs, like this, I'm, this pandemic has given me so much anxiety around, and I was already like very cautious around germs and all, I, I'm gonna show you a video, I'm sorry, going off topic, well no, on topic. Like, germs and people coughing and people sneezing stressed me out way before I knew what a fucking coronavirus was. But now, it's taken it to the next extreme. And oh my god, well, my friends, not me. Um, but I remember, like, not to call out any of my friends, but like, whenever we go out to a bar, like, you know, them bitches would be kissing multiple people, them bitches be making out with multiple people. Again, I never got any action. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not complaining. And I don't want after this. But like, that was like, what was so normalized to us. That stresses me out, that that's gonna probably be a normalized thing again. But the fact that Tana Mojo is posting a video doing exactly that with Patrick Starr... During a pandemic? So not only are you breaking LA guidelines and rules by going to a party, and when you go to the party you're supposed to be... <laughs> there's no if you're going to a party. But if you're going to a social situation that you must attend. Is Nikita Dragon's shitty birthday party so you must attend? Whenever all the people there aren't even friends, they're just like, oh, let's take an Instagram pic and I'll tag you. Breaking guidelines on going, and then breaking guidelines on not wearing a mask when you're there and not socially distancing. And on top of that, licking each other and, and, and so there was a video, I think, of Tana Mojo, and it was like, Tony Lopez was licking her or something. What was it in summer? Can someone help me? It was like, Oh, no! Tana Mojo was recording to- Aged horribly, I'm aware. Actually, he's been getting exposed for a long time now, this isn't- Anyway, she was at a club, and she was recording Tony Lopez, and he was sweating a lot. And she wipes her hand on his thing, and like, that's it. So that- that's kind of what we're used to with Tana. So these are the kind of videos that she's been posting, from Nikita Dragon's party. That's Patrick Starr. Now, Patrick Starr, we're aware that you're a nobody. Your makeup skincare brand absolutely tanked. Nobody wants it, and you have the most unoriginal video ideas, and quite honestly, you're up there with Nikita, except it's just sad. You know what I mean? Like, you fell off so hard that at any social event that you're not allowed to go to, you'll go to so that people will call you out for it. That's how desperate you are. Are things that bad, Patrick Star? So anyway, that's Patrick Starr with Tana, if you didn't know who that was. Who wants to make out with someone with a white tongue? Tana, why is your tongue this color? Dirty bitch. This is honestly one of the most disgusting videos I've ever watched. And the, and what about it? Very, like, uh, we don't fucking care. Tana, we get it. But like, isn't this such a slap in the face? And I bring up this argument. If there's Tana Mojo fans out there, which when there's millions upon millions, there is. It's a guaranteed fact that there are Tana Mojo fans out there who have lost their parents to COVID, their grandparents, their best friend, maybe their own life. So for the people that are still here and have been affected by it in some way, how are they supposed to react to a video like this? First of all, probably throw up, but like just disappointment. And then the normalization of this behavior still. And now Tana Mojo apologized for going to parties in summer. 
Y'all remember her apology? Let me try find that real quick. Tana Mojo apologized for going to parties because she kept getting called out for basically going to parties. And Tana Mojo apology partying. Tana Mojo apology, so many things come up. Okay, so here we go. She posted on her Instagram story Partying slash going to any social gatherings during a global pandemic was such a careless and irresponsible action on my behalf. I fully hold myself accountable for this and will be staying inside. Actions like this don't deserve a platform. I'm glad we're coming to an agreement, Tana. And I want to fully apologize and be better than this. I'm sorry. I need to be a better example. Tana, screw you! S are really, Tana? And I'm sure that you're aware that this is something that's not fucking acceptable anymore. That's enough of that. Okay, and then she also posted with the Lorray. <laughs> I messed up saying this thing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she was posting videos with Lorray, who, again, Lorray, you apologized and said that you'd be doing better whenever you got called out for going to parties. These people are fake. These people are horrible people, and these people don't deserve platforms. If they continue to do it like this, give them a little bit of a consequence. Disable their ability to post for like a week at least. So there's some sort of repercussion. Because these people don't care unless it affects their money. Sorry, someone told me not to do that. I apologize. It's just. Sorry. <laughs> like, Tana, stop this. And she said, My bestie, we don't need Instagram to prove it. Keep the word bestie out your mouth. Bitch. One last time. <laughs> After apologizing for going to parties. What about it? You apologized for doing just this a couple months ago. And what about it? You said that you don't deserve a platform if you continue to do this, but you deserve one now. And what about it? You're influencing multiple young people, as in millions, that this is okay. You're normalizing making out with people who have white fucking nasty ass tongues, dirty bitch. This is so appalling. Uh, can we not with this? Can we not? Tana, stop it. Guys, let me know what your opinion is in this and if you're as fr frustrated as I am. Again, my Nikita video will be linked below. I'd appreciate if you could go watch it. Again, I understand that Nikita is so boring that nobody wants to watch a video on her, but the video gets deep towards the end and there's just a lot of context in this. Tana, shame on you. In your own words, you don't deserve your platform. You don't deserve a voice. Absolutely fucking disgusting. It's such a appalling. Let me know what your opinion is on this. We'll talk below. It's honestly ridiculous. You know what I mean? It's, how do, how do they apologize and then do it again? Like again and again and again. Do better, I'll see you in my next video. Ugh, oh, so fucking annoying.